Welcome, everybody. This is Carrick with ACG News. As of today, December 3rd, Mark Dara and Casey Hudson no longer work at BioWare. Casey Hudson, if you will remember, is the general manager of BioWare. He ended up shepherding a lot of the BioWare titles into fruition and then left and returned to work on Dragon Age and whatever is occurring in the Mass Effect series of worlds and stories, as well as Mark Dara, who has worked as the executive producer on the upcoming Dragon Age, as well as other titles. Both announced their departure today within the same couple minutes on the BioWare blog. Both thanked various people, but I want to read little excerpts from each one. This is from Mark Dara, who thanked a group of people that he worked with, including Casey. But he did say something at the end that I want to discuss with you. Quote, more than anything, I'm thankful for the ability to have touched so many lives, to have given people a chance to explore themselves through our games. I like to think I've helped make some of your lives a little better. I hope I'm right. I don't know what's next for me, but I'm excited to find out. Just as excited as I am to find out what Dragon Age now becomes. End quote. Casey's general comments were somewhat the same, and I want to read a quote from him as well. Quote, for me, it's been the realization that I still have a tremendous energy to create, but also that I need to try something different. I'm not sure exactly what that is yet, but I know that I want to start by rediscovering my creative passion through more personal work. End quote. Interestingly enough, while they both did indicate that other people were in charge of the various different projects that they left, both also indicated that they did not know what was in store for their future, which seemed a little bit odd to read as both of them indicated that they were excited for whatever they were going to work on, but they did not actually know what they were going to work on in the future. This is, of course, going to lead to inevitable discourse and discussion about why they left and in what form they did leave. We do know that various different things have occurred behind the scenes when it comes to the Mass Effect remake and other titles. And Dragon Age itself has come and gone, as well as Anthem and its issues that it's had upon release and even afterwards. Now, Casey stated when he was leaving that he was very happy with the way the Anthem community has sort of gathered around Anthem in its continual releases and changes. And of course, we have the update to Anthem coming at some point. But this is a situation where I think, like I said, a lot of discourse is going to go around what exactly caused both of them to leave at the general same time. Does this mean something is changing within the Dragon Age and Mass Effect projects? Now, Samantha Ryan is going to oversee the studio. And then they said Christian Daly, who joined Bioware from Blizzard, will be the Dragon Age project executive producer at this time. I think it's interesting to note this is the second time that Casey has come and gone, and I feel, I think a lot of people probably feel that the various different starts and stops for these different projects has caused a lot of friction between gamers, the community itself overall, as well as the game creators, including Hudson himself, who's ended up getting his fair share of the blame for a lot of the issues that have cropped up. Does that mean that's why he left? No one knows, only him, but this all comes at an insane time. It comes where two people two major creative forces working on overlapping projects have both left on the same day within the same amount of time and neither seem to indicate that they really understand or know what they're going to do in the future but are looking for more creative things i think at least for me that's a little bit worrying now the next thing i want to talk about before we wrap this up is i want to talk about cyberpunk cyberpunk is out there in reviewers hands but it's also in some lucky gamers hands because best buy screwed up and they shipped off a bunch of versions of the collector's edition to various different gamers out there who are playing it right now. One thing to remember though, if you are playing this early and you are not a reviewer, you are not playing with the day one code. You are actually playing with a patch. You are not playing with the actual optimized day one code. That requires a specific entry from the reviewer to get into as is pretty much normal for a lot of games of this course and this measure, meaning that if you are getting issues with bugs or getting issues with performance, those could have been fixed and you won't know that until the actual game gets released and it gets into everybody's hot little hands. We're looking at just a week to go until everybody gets to play a game that has been in the social zeitgeist for seven years, seven plus years for video gamers. People have been wanting this since that moment. It was originally announced and really the hype has not died down. I'm excited. I don't know about you. It's going to be a great time to talk about titles. It's going to be exciting to see what's after it. Remember, there's a bunch of games out there, though. If you're not into this game, it doesn't mean that there's not awesome games out there for you. If you like the continuing news, please give it a thumbs up, maybe comment, subscribe, all that kind of jazz. Peace out.